Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. I am going to be showing you how to make a Pikachu themed cockatiel. I originally made these as a fun personal project and recorded them just for the heck of it, and then later thought it would be fun to incorporate it into a tutorial. Because of this, I don't have all of the steps recorded, so the tutorial is not a step-by-step -step complete process. With that said, I hope that you can still have fun making your own Pikachu-themed creation. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, we need to make the tail. As you can see here, I made quite a few Pikachu tails. You want to make a lightning bolt shape with your clay, making it as sharp or soft as you want, and then adding a little bit of wire into the end of it so that you can attach it to the body. I was planning to make a batch of Pikateels, hence all of the tails. Unfortunately, most of them actually burned in the oven, so I only had two salvageable tails. Moving on to the second part, making the body of the cockatiel. Starting out, you will want to take a ball of yellow clay and form the head and body. Once you have the core of the body and head the size that you like it, we will be adding the cheeks, as well as the beak. I am using a lighter yellow for the beak, which you can also use a darker yellow. And once you have your beak size, you want to roll two balls of the body color to make the cheeks. Press them flat and place them on the head where you would like them, trying to make them as even as possible. Once the cheeks are smoothed onto the head, you can place the beak. I always like to draw where I'm going to put it just to give myself a guideline, but you don't have to do this. Smooth the beak into an even arched shape and then draw where you want the forehead to be. Now we're going to take another small amount of the body color and we are going to add the forehead above the beak. Smoothing it in nicely with the cheeks and top of the head. Now we have our basic cockatiel head shape and we can work on adding the crest. What I am going to do for the crest is I'm going to add a small amount of black clay to the tip of one of the crest feathers, the longest crest feather. Once I have the feather the size that I like, I will flatten the end so that I can place it onto the head. First I'm going to be making a smaller crest feather that's going to go on the bottom. After I smooth this in, before I go any further, I'm going to be adding the charm back to it so that I don't forget and ruin the crest trying to add it in later. Placing it on the head, I decided I made the top crest feather way too large, so I am making it smaller to better fit the head size. I'm going for a slightly chunky look to match the look of Pikachu's ears. Once I have the crest where I like it, I will smooth it into the head. Now that the crest is in place, I can make the nostrils that go on top of the beak. I'm just going to take two small little bits of clay and dot them for the nostrils. And now it is time for the classic Pikachu cheeks. It doesn't show up too well on the camera, but these small red canes do have a faint spiral to them. Just like my classic cockatiel cheeks that I make on my charms for the shop. Place each red dot near the back of the cheeks behind where the eyes would go. Try your best to place them evenly with each other so that your Pikachu looks good from all angles. Now it is time for the wings. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I have a particular type of wing shape that I always do for my charms. If you prefer, you can always use a single teardrop shaped piece of clay instead. After we add the wings, we're going to add the tail. I always add the primary feathers first, 
and smooth them into the body before carving the shapes. An alternative method to what I'm doing here and making a just single block of clay would be to carve the suggestion of wings into the body. This only really works if you have wings that are the same color as the body, but in this case, we do. This three feather pattern wing that I do here originated with the budgies that I started out with when I was first making my charms. I continued with the pattern for my solid color birds so that I could preserve the style between both of them. Now it is time to add the tail. I'm going to take a small amount of translucent liquid Sculpey and place it onto the body where I'm going to attach the tail. Once I have placed the tail inside the body, I am going to smooth out the excess liquid Sculpey from the tail. And now it is time for the feet. You can make the feet any color you like, but I chose to make them this light carrot orange. I also almost forgot to sign my piece. Please remember to sign and date your piece if you'd like. It's a good artistic practice. Once you have finished defining the toes and your feet, it is time to do the eyes. Unfortunately, I did not record this process because the eyes were not ready, but you can easily use black beads or two small pieces of black clay for this purpose. In addition to my Picatiel, I also made a shiny version. For the shiny, I added some orange and gold to the yellow to make this metallic goldenrod color. And for the cheeks, I'm going to be adding Swarovski elements. Because they are pointed on the underside rather than flat, I find it easier to place them by using a tool to dot where they will be before pushing them into the figure. Try to be gentle while doing this if you are going to be working with these because you don't want to press the face out of shape. Flat rhinestones, if you want to use those, can be glued on after baking. That's the end of the video. I hope you had fun and have a wonderful day.